welcome this is the energy vibration a reading for the month of September for the Aries Sun Moon horizon sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration this is the month of September the month of September has four weeks and this month is the uh, air month which is wonderful beautiful um, there is uh, um, for you guys you have to be careful go check out the general reading please like share these videos and for the extended reading use the link below okay so let's see what's coming up for the Aries in the first week we have the hermit whatever the issue is and situation there is some truth that is going to be coming out the hermit is here to help you guys see something that you weren't seeing or it's going to shed light on certain aspects of your life so whenever the energy of the hermit is here it is always a time when you go within and you look at things but at this time the hermit is coming out to show um, issues so um, the Empress is here so this has to do with your materialistic stability um, whatever is transpiring the hermit um, the Empress is here it is good because um, whatever is transpiring in your world um, whether um, financial or materialistic it can also be the nurturing um, energy that is coming up in the second week the third week you have um, the energy um, in the third week is powerful because it's secrets it's secrets about your materialistic aspect assets and that sort of a thing so there is the energy of secrets that is coming out in the third week now whatever um, has been kept is going to be coming out and um, so be aware of that then we have the the um, eye princess in the last week and in the general energy the eye princess is here so there is things about um, secrets that is going on with you Aries and what is transpiring here is that whatever the secret is or was whether it's your secret someone else's secrets they're all going to be coming out um, in this month okay so it's month of healing so whatever the secrets are um, you have to Heal the situation so it's water her to water water so it's a lot of emotion this month is very emotion um, uh, it's a, a very emotional month for you Aries whatever is transpiring there is a lot of emotion there's a lot of secrets secrets are going to be coming out so whatever that has been transpiring now you're seeing um, that uh, um, the energy emotion a lot of emotions because the hermit has to do with um, the scorpions okay um, the hermit is coming out to show hidden agendas that sort of a thing so um, whatever that was behind the scenes is definitely going to be coming out so be aware and be ready for that okay um, the hermit is introspect and it has to do with the scorpions and the Virgo. So, if you had issues with a scorpion and the Virgos, um, this could be coming out. The scorpion and the Virgos could be helping you out, that sort of a thing. Okay. Then, as we look at the situation with um, the Empress, what we're seeing is creativity. And some of you could be dealing with the Capricorns in the second week, but it's also a week of creativity. So, you can use your creativity. In that week the moon is always the energy of illu um, illusion and it has to do with the scorpion and the Pisces okay has to do with the scorpion and the Pisces so be aware of that the high princess is definitely these secrets are coming out is the intuition it's your um, spirit guides that are coming out okay so be aware of that so let's go into reading and see what else is coming out um, the hermit um is bringing out a situation to do with the queen of swords this could be a legal issue for some of you but for some of you this could be a mother some of you this could be that you have some resolution it could be that someone um who is an aquarius gemini or libra you have to deal with this person or it could be a legal action okay it could be a legal action some of you it could be a mother 
because there is a nurturing energy that is coming up so be aware of that whatever it is then we have the five of Pentacles um, in reverse so it definitely has to do with your materialistic stability um, some of you um, are being um, worried about your materialistic and the secrets that you're keeping about what you have um, communication um, is going to be happening in the third week going into fourth week so whatever um, that was kept closed or whatever secrets they're going to be coming out okay um, there could be cancers or Pisces that is going to be bringing out these secrets or you could be um, finding out their secrets so what they were um, they were doing okay so what we're seeing here is that there is definitely communication in the third week going in the fourth week there is definitely communication in the um, the first week going in the second week there is an issue with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra whoever this person is she could be a mother figure but she could be also a lawyer for some of you okay so be aware of that um, whatever is transpiring in the second week going in the third week it has to do with um, you feeling as if you have been left out in the cold so that is there um, so here we are you ladies 45 years and older you're in the reverse because there is an issue that is transpiring um, with your nurturing energy is is really out um, it's as if uh, um, you feel as if you are left in the cold and it's gonna affect the latest 45 years and older because this is a more maturity um, situation that is transpiring and you women are going to be affected women 45 years and older okay you're definitely going to be affected because you're dealing with another person that is an um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius in the first week going in the second week okay whoever this person is this person um, is definitely affecting you and affecting your materialistic stability okay so when we're looking at this there is some secrets that is coming out and some secrets that is going to be coming out um, about you women 45 years and older okay um, and it's about family money okay family money there is something about your financial stability and about family money some secrets about some family money and some situation that has been transpiring so um, Oh, it is a month. It is a month, you Aries. It is really, really a month. I'm seeing some secret about family money is coming out. Okay. Um, I'm seeing some of you communicating with a Pisces. Um, I'm seeing some of you finding out something that a Pisces has done some secrets is coming out it could be you communicating this but it's coming out and it has to do with family money it has to do with family money the outcomes is um, the ten of cups the number ten energy is your energy vibration you um, Aries ten of Pentacles ten of cups whatever is happening I'm seeing that you ladies 45 years and older whatever makes um, whatever has um, had a shift in your life it's as if you're trying to change that and you're trying to build on it for the rest of the people especially the young people um, the truth is going to be coming out about a situation for the young people okay the hermit is showing um, is is shedding light on an Aquarius Gemini or Libra whoever this Aquarius Gemini or Libra is um, you women 45 years and older have an issue with an Aquarius Gemini and or Libra and it's a family member because it has to do with something to do with money family money okay this month you guys are going to be coming out of the hardship some of you young people have some issue with legal issue and um, the book is going to be thrown at you so whoever 
um, you young people are you're having some issues with legal issues whatever is transpiring I'm seeing that your secrets are going to be coming out there's definitely a family a situation or a past life situation that is coming back and it has to do with nurturing so some of you could have issues with your kids and legal issues with kids um, but whatever this issue is the six of cups is here and this is saying that this is um, something to do with friendship or past life uh, issues that is coming up and it's as if the hermit is going to come and shed a light on this for some of you it's going to affect you um, with the nurturing sense for some of you it's going to affect you with something that has transpired and now the truth is coming out um, then we have the prince of so the princess of swords this is a young Aquarian Gemini or Libra so it has something to do with um, whoever this person is um, it's either you are going to take down this person or this person is going to take you down because whatever has transpired between you and this person there are secrets that um, you two carry and this person is going to either bring out the secrets or you are going to take out the secrets okay this is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person so some of you if you have a child that is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra between the ages of 18 and 45 I'm seeing that this person had a lot of secrets and has tried to bring you down but they are going to fall themselves okay so it depends on what side you're playing whether you were being um, positive about the situation or not but whoever this person is they um, it is coming up as a child so if you have a child that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius there are some issues and past life issues that needs to be resolved there's an offer that is coming in I'm seeing truths coming out I'm seeing communication truths coming out and there's an offer that is coming in whatever the secrets is they're all coming out okay so in this um, um, month um, there is where um, some of you are going to be giving up other people it, it's as if um, I'm not taking the fall for this okay some of you were working with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra person and you're saying I'm not taking the fall for this and you're going to be giving up that person okay you know however way it comes up you're going to be telling the truth um, then we have the eight of swords um, not seeing a situation that is going on and it has to do with um, some of you with your parents um, with your mom or it has a legal issues okay and you're not seeing the situation but it is affecting um, you guys you're not seeing what exactly is transpiring but it's affecting you and it has to do with a past life issue and uh, um, with someone who is uh, an Aquarius Gemini or Libra between the age of 18 and 45 here is an end coming to the situation you have decided to put the situation to rest you are speaking your truth and you're you are standing up and not taking the fall for this person so it's as if an Aquarian Gemini or Libra has got you in uh, some issues especially for the young people um, an Aquarian Gemini or Libra has gotten you in some issues and uh, um, you are deciding to stand up for yourself you're deciding that you're going to be telling the truth and protect yourself and your family and you're bringing an end to a situation so whoever you are especially the younger people you're having this issue with this could be a friend or an associate but this person is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra what is transpiring what is happening is that you're speaking up you're telling the truth about what happened there is some secrets that this person hold and has brought you in some issues and you're speaking up about this okay I'm seeing a past life issue that is a past life issue that some of you young people are dealing with with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person and you're telling the truth you're deciding to say exactly what has transpired to protect yourself and your family I'm seeing you're not seeing a situation a legal situation but you're you're ending a situation by speaking up and protecting yourself at the same time and your family because I'm seeing the energy of um, family here with money and 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 uh, um, 
you want to bring back the family together and you're speaking up okay so um, that is really what go check out the general re the extended reading because the extended reading is going to give you more information now you have the fire of Prince the Prince of Fire and it's about optimism and aggression so be careful um, because some of you can be very aggressive in this month because of an, uh, a situation that is transpiring about around you so be very careful how you deal with situation because um, you can use the fire but however you use the fire it has to be in a positive way so be aware of how you use this fire energy because you might use it in the wrong way but I'm seeing you using it to clear an issue with your family and this is going to be good as we look at the angel of Atlantis we have Archangel and um, any well and this is willpower so some of you are going to need the energy of willpower to help you through this month because obviously you have to find in a strength to deal with some issues that is coming up in this month so call upon Archangel Aniel. This is also the Moon Goddesses. Go check out the Moon readings to see what is going to come up in the first two weeks of September, and call upon Archangel Aniel to help you through this period. But I'm seeing you trying to end a situation in the month of September and clear your name and clear yourself from a negative situation. Okay. Then um, we have listen, listen. So number two energy comes up. So you have 10 and two um, for your energy vibration number. You have 10 and two. Whatever the issue is, whatever the situation is, you got to listen um, before you make a choice and you move forward. There is definitely an, a situation that is going to be transpiring. Listen, answer the questions, and then move forward. Clear yourself from whatever you're dealing with and then move away. Listen is going to be very important for you guys in the month of September. Okay, whatever is transpiring, you have to listen. You have to listen. It's, it's a time where you need to listen to whatever is coming up because whatever is transpiring is that you need to clear your name. The hermit comes up twice, so you have two, nine, and ten. So your energy vibration is two, nine, and ten. The hermit comes up again and it says, um, find or be a mentor, take a break from social life, a commitment to your spiritual growth, a commitment to your spiritual growth. Now, whatever is going on is that you Aries has to step back, uh, introspect, time of listening. That is what is coming up for you in the month of September. Whatever is transpiring and whatever that is happening, you Aries are affected um, by some issues around you, and it is time to step back. Um, do not hesitate. Step back, introspect is what need to be done. It's a time to take um, time out to, to just step back, step back, listen, go within, find willpower to move forward in this month. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for being here. Please like, share these videos. And I want to say namaste until next time.